How do you? Welcome back to another month, another TBR, this time for May because it is almost May. Hooray! Yes, today is going to be another TBR video, obviously for May, and this month I simply chose some books that I wanted to read and that is going to be my TBR. But yeah, I just, I just picked some books out that I feel like I'm in the mood to read and that's gonna be my TBR. No jar, no nothing, just me being a mood reader and these are the books that I want to read right now. Obviously, things could change and things probably will change. But for now, I'm just gonna talk to you about some books I want to read in May that I may or may not read, if you will. Anyway, let's discuss. First up, we have some new releases that I would love to get to and I'm thinking of doing a new releases reading vlog. So if you're interested in that, let me know. But there are a couple new releases that I want to get to in May, starting with none other than Oh! Happy Place by Emily Henry. Technically, I could read this this month because this book came out today, today, as I am filming this, and it literally, literally just arrived on my doorstep. Oh, <laughs> it's so bright that... Anyway, it just arrived like two minutes before I started filming this, so excellent timing. Excellent timing. We all know this. This is her new book and I'm very excited about it. I don't know what it's about at all, <laughs> but I don't care because I'm very excited. Oh, this cover is so beautiful. I don't need to get into how this is a hardcover. Okay, I don't, I'm gonna get into it. Why is it a hardcover? I do in fact hate that this is a hardcover, even though it is published by the same people who did her other books. Am I right? Berkeley? Berkeley, hello. What is up with this hardcover? I'm still very happy that I have this in my hands because this cover is so beautiful in real life. And honestly, I didn't want to wait for the paperback. I didn't want to like buy it on my Kindle. Here we have it. I'm going to stop talking about it now, but Happy Place is for sure going to get read. I really want to start it now, but I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until May, May 1st. I will read this. In addition to that, another new release that I'm so excited for is Meet Me at the Lake. Is it Meet Me at the Lake? Meet Me by the Lake? I don't know. Carly Fortune's new book, something about meeting someone at a lake. I am so excited about this. Again, I don't know what it's about. I don't know how I haven't like read the synopsis of it yet, but I haven't and that's okay. I am okay with going into a blind. We all know every summer after, one of my favorite books that I read last year. It's just like the perfect summer book. So I'm hoping that this will also be a great summery book. I'm very much looking forward to this. Can't wait to find out what it's about. <laughs> and then finally, another one that released a couple of weeks ago. I don't know, sometime in the month of April is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I still need to, um, you know, buy this book, but I do really want to read it. Again, no idea what this is about. This one especially because it was not really on my radar for new releases that I was excited about until it came out and everyone was like, yo, this book is so good. And I was like, I want to read it too. I have read Abby Jimenez books in the past. I read The Friend Zone, the playlist one, the Happy Ever After playlist, I think is what it's called. I read those several years ago, so I don't remember anything about them. However, I did read Part of Your World, which was the release before this one, and really, really, really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to this new release. I've heard really good things and I'm sure I will enjoy it. The next book I would like to read is The Right Move. Is that what it's called? Book number two in the Windy, Windy City series. I need to start doing my research before I show up here just talking nonsense but it is the second book by Liz Tom Ford, the one that comes after Mile High, which I am reading right now. I'm reading Mile High right now. I'm like barely into it. I can tell it's a good book. I can tell I'm gonna really like it. In May, I really wanna read the second one. I've heard the second one is even better. It's like a little companion novel series. I can tell already from Mile High that I really, really like her writing. It is very good. Something about it, I'm just, very into. Speaking of second books in series that I want to read, that is Terms and Conditions. I just finished the fine print last night actually, so I want to move on to Terms and Conditions. This one is about one of the brothers of the guy in the first book, and I think this is a marriage and 
a marriage of convenience, right? Am I thinking that? Declan and Iris, and I, is she, I think she might be his assistant, secretary? I don't know, I know she works for him and he has to get married to get his inheritance or whatever. And so I think they get married. I don't know, I've heard really, really good things about this one and really good things about Iris as a main character. So I'm very excited, very excited. While we are on the same topic of book series I need to finish, we have Hail Mary by Candy Steiner. I decided to put this on my TBR because this is, like I said, the last book in her football series, The Red, Red Zone Rivals, I think is what it's called. This is the only one I have not read yet. And it came out this February, a couple months ago, and I still haven't gotten to it, which is a crime because we all know how I feel about Candy Steiner and the series, very good. I love it, basically, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say, is that I love it. And I haven't really heard much buzz about this one. I know the two characters are Leo and Mary, which are two characters we meet in the other book. Leo, of course, is on the football team and Mary was Julep's roommate, Julep from Quarterback Sneak. I don't really know what their deal is. She moves in with him and some of his football bros and they don't like each other. I think they have like a, a past, they known each other before. He's broken my heart once, I won't let him do it again. All right, okay, I'm excited about this. Anyway, the the reason I want to read this sooner rather than later is because Candy Steiner has a new series coming out this summer, either in June or July. I want to say it's July. I don't know, it's coming out in a couple months and it's a hockey romance series. I'm very excited, but I would like to, you know, wrap this one up, finish it before her next one releases. And then I would really like to get to Alone With You in the Ether by Olive e. Blake. This was of course on my TBR last month, but I did not get around to it because I am scared of it. I feel like this is going to be a book that I either really, really love or I will not like it and I don't want to not like it. You know what I mean? I just, I want to be in the right mood to read this because I'm very excited about it. I feel like it's the kind of story, the kind of book that I will really like, but I'm just scared that I won't. But there's no way to know unless I try. So I'm gonna read it even though I'm scared of it. The end. And then the last one that I have on my list, my written down list, Flawless by Elsie Silver. Elsie Silver. This has been on my TBR for like a year. Well, not quite a year. I think, I don't know, whenever it first came out, I got it and I still haven't read it. But every single time I open my dang Instagram, I see this book and I feel left out, okay? <laughs> so it is once again making a return to the TBR. And when I bought this, there was only one book out and now there is four, three, three, and almost a fourth. I don't know, it's a whole series. Mr. Cowboy, Sir. It sounds good, okay? And I, I like I said, I keep seeing it and I keep feeling left out. <laughs> so this is a maybe. I would love to get to it, but who knows? It has been sitting on my shelf for a long time. I do have a couple more ideas of books I wanna read, but I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. I think that's very good obviously pretty ambitious for me but it's fine <laughs> as always if you've read any of those if you're planning on reading any of them if you have any words to say about these books that i have chosen to read this month let me know i'd love to talk about them and also i feel like i ask this every time but if there's any video requests you have throw them my way because i feel like i'm constantly out of ideas okay thank you so much for watching and until next time Bye!